Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. I hope you guys are enjoying your new year, your family, or whatever the hell it is you're doing safely, uh, and all that jazz. Love you bunches. Uh, Divine Masculine. So yes, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down. Just, look how you looking at me, boy, after I didn't even notice. You don't like my intro? I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine getting no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch it on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Turland. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. So, yes, everyone. Happy New Year. Shout out to uh, all of y'all. Hope 2023 is a wonderful one for everybody here listening, okay? Gee, how about uh, Barbara Walters? Check up out of here. I don't know what reading that was. Uh, that I said that shit. I think it's on one of my Patreon readings. I don't know, but I literally just said they came and told me about Barbara Walters. Put y'all prayers up for Barbara Walters. That had to be like two weeks ago, G. I was like, ain't that? And she's been gone for a whole week. So shit, I don't look. Okay. Rest in peace, Barbara Walters. I really like, like that lady. So that's probably why I'm like, damn, okay. Anyway, side note from that. Uh, Divine Masculine. It's the new year, boo. Let's see. Let me, let me listen. Hold on. Yours is similar to Divine Feminine, uh, is what, what they're saying. Like, they're, it's pretty much the same thing. You may be uh, trying to break some addictions or break things off with people, though. You may be finding it a little bit harder than Divine Feminine to break things off with people or uh, break addictions, bad habits. Uh, I heard circumstantial evidence, so I don't even know. You in court now, too? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. So maybe it's hard for them to convict you with just circumstantial evidence. Shit, you know? Moving on. Something's difficult to defeat Divine Masculine, but I feel like you do it. But it's holding on to your ass hella tight, whatever this is. It could be something within you. Anger. Uh, you know what I mean? Depre it's something that's holding on to you. It feels like a demon, G. It does. And we all battle demons, so I don't want you to be all like, you know, but it, that's what it feels like. It could be a, it could be an inner demon or an outer demon or both. You know what I mean? At the same damn time, G. Your kids may be telling you something, Divine Masculine. If you have kids, they may be actually to giving you good advice. Like, you know what I mean? It's going to be crazy, but it makes sense, though, is what they're saying. Like, it could be just a young kid that's just got some, like, real profound shit to say to you and shit. Like, wow, thanks, kid. Like, yeah. Like, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. I don't know. Or somebody you weren't expecting, divine masculine. Or someone could be looking at you like this, but you divine. But, yeah, some people just underestimate you. So, yeah, probably that, too. Yeah, something cannot be removed off. This could be your record, boy. I don't know. This could be a boot on a car. Something's like, I mean, I feel like you can do it. Like, get it off, get it away, chisel it off. I hope I ain't talking about no person, G, okay? But this shit, like a statue, like, is what they're showing me. Like, this motherfucker ain't moving, okay? So, I don't know. Something may be monumental. I already told y'all that monuments and statues and murals and shit like that were going to be named after you. Uh, you know what I mean? As you get older and do all these great things in your lifetime and shit. So that's true. So they could be talking about you in this way. But I feel like, I don't know, G. It feel kind of like, like you trying to give somebody the boot. Yes. Arthritis may be kicking in, Divine Masculine. Especially if you have problems with your knees or your ankles and feet and shit. This gonna be a hard winter, boy. I'm gonna tell you now. I don't know why they attack your uh, loins like that and shit. 
Uh, but they do. They, I don't know why they said they. I'm talking about winter. They said they. I don't know what this is, G. It's like whatever can uh grab a hold of your ass, it get your ass. You know what I mean? So it's like you could be doing everything right and then you get hit with the Rona type shit. You know what I mean? Like something got to grab your ass. I don't know. You know, like they say, like, uh, you know, like when you first move somewhere, you get a new car, get some new shoes or something. You may scuff your shoes or you get a scuff on the wall or something happens and they're like, oh, well, you finally christen the car or you finally christen the house. You know what I mean? That one stain, that crack, that break that you did, it's like, it's officially yours now. It kind of feels like that a little bit. So like, you'll never be squeaky clean, but who is, you know? So I don't know. Let's, let's get started, Booski. If that made any sense at all. Give me some messages uh, here for a divine masculine. How he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in in the next seven days. All right. I don't know why they got me patting him like that and shit. I don't know, divine. Some of y'all have a baby, okay? I don't feel like you want this baby or... That sounds really bad, but that's what they said. Then they won't, like, correct me. They're like, keep going, bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, some of y'all don't want this baby. Don't mistreat this child divine masculine. Like, some of you guys may be rougher and not, like, abusive, but it's, like, the bare minimum is what I give this child because I don't want this child, you know? So, like, you're not going to hold the baby and you just literally just hold that motherfucker, like, you know what I mean? I hope you ain't holding it like this, like a bag of potatoes, but it's almost like that's how they're making me feel about, not all of you, but somebody who's having a child or had a child they don't want, or I don't know. It's like they hold the baby like, like a lady purse, they said, like a man holding a woman's purse, like how he feels uncomfortable, like for, for a man, man, right? Feeling uncomfortable holding a woman's purse, that's how he holds this baby. Damn, that is fucked up. Yeah, it pissed this some woman off, too. She don't like that. Well, stop letting them hold them. Uh, whatever, lady. Let me move on. We ain't even pulled no cards yet. Let's go. And I think the dang cards done reversed themselves. I'm trying to... Okay, we back. Give me some messages here for Divine Masculine in the next seven days. Sorry. Let's get started, y'all. Yeah, G. I don't know. You like how do you think she noticed that you holding the baby by the top of the head? Yeah, boy, I think she do. The fuck kind of shit is this? Divine masculine. Uh, you may be noivis manoeva in the next seven days. Nail biter, cliffhanger, uh fear. Now let me in the fucking house. Yeah, but that doesn't give me Mark Wahlberg energy. Some of y'all are scared that something's gonna like, so some of y'all are worried a baby is yours. This gives me like, I'm scared something's like true is what this feels like. Like this man side-eyed a motherfucker. Like, is it true what they say about your motherfucking ass? Look at her. Like, shit, bitch, I heard some things. Okay? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn divine masculine. Oh, shit. You're going to stay like that for a while. You side-eyeing somebody, Booski, in the next seven days. Or somebody side-eyeing you. This doesn't really give me fear. This give me, like, side-eye. Like, I hope that motherfucker don't come sitting over here. It's like this type of shit. Damn. Give me another one. Or I hope I don't have to see this person. I hope I don't see this person is what I heard. Or somebody feels this way about you. Someone may be scared to see you. It could be another male. Give me another one. That shit's crazy. This person could have blue eyes or wear blue contacts or something different about their eyes. Whoever this person is. Damn. It's a damn divine masculine. Shit. Ain't gonna be no nails left, okay? Uh, I don't know if these people did something to you. I don't know if this is you and, and someone you're connected to. This could be uh, people related to you. That's crazy, all these motherfucking scared-ass people coming out and shit, Devon Masculine. What the hell you do to these folk? Uh, a man and a woman are scared. Again, you, I'll know for sure who this man is if it's you in a minute. 
But it's a man and a woman out here are scared. Somehow these two are connected. Either they're connected trying to do something towards you and now they're scared that you know. Or you're with this woman and you did some fuck ass shit with this, with this broad. And both of y'all scared about some shit. Okay? But damn hell yeah. Somebody's scared to be seen. High definition. Ooh. Yeah, somebody trying to remove themselves now. Uh, the masculine energy looks like, how do I get out of this? How do I separate myself from this motherfucker? She kind of gave me the energy like she's stuck in this by herself a little bit. Like he acting like he don't know her and shit. And they probably do know each other. Look, he ain't even looking her way. So are you trying to distance yourself from someone divine masculine? Someone may be scared that you're doing this. I feel like you acting funny too. Uh, like I said, it probably ain't you just holding the baby by the head. You know what I mean? I, not to say it like that, but somebody is like, like holding a baby carelessly. Like, you know, like she's scared you're going to drop them. Get the baby, girl. Take the baby from this man. I feel like, I don't know. Somebody can't bond with a child or something. I don't know, Divine Masculine. I'm going to move on from that, okay? Something ain't clean to the milk here. And somebody has like blue eyes, light eyes, like I said, Okay? Shit now. Or they change them up. Shit. This 2022. You could do anything. Okay. So when maybe one day they blue, one day they gray, one day they hazel, one day they brown. I don't know. Okay. Or somebody's like a reptilian. Yeah. Or a, like crocodilian, they said. I don't know. A snake is what I'm getting. Oh wait. Whoever this woman is, she's trying to protect herself from evil lie and negative energy now. But she deep, deep in that shit. This may be, uh, whatever you're feeling, Divine Masculine, if this is you, this is a, a result of fucking with this bitch. Okay? I feel like, I always say, whenever some shit go down, murder, robbery, anything, it's always over a bitch and money. That It's always the both of them com combined. Always. Uh, I feel like somebody been sleeping with the enemy here. Yeah, because they got me even, like, quivering saying this shit. I ain't scared. Uh, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, ain't shit like this happening to me is what I should say. So I don't know whose energy this is. Somebody you fucking with, boy? Shit. That got you in some type of mess? Shit, basically. This could be a family member. They just showed me somebody mama. I'd rather not say who mama they showed me. But this somebody mama and shit that get in the way of a relationship. And now you don't know what to do. And mm -mm. Give me another one here. Yeah, writing people off. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, this is also a DU studies. But I fucking doubt it. Not with all this fear. Unless you just know you gonna fail. Now, this could be some, uh... Real fucked up ass kids on the campus and shit at the school, Divine University here. And they just been cheating and lying and stealing and all type of shit at the school. But I don't really feel like it's that because I don't feel like they would have gotten away with it that long unless God wanted it to be that way. So it could be two people thinking that they were getting away with something and it was all divinely guided for them to think that. They were being written off the whole time. Written off a story, written, somebody being written out of a script. You remember back in the day when everybody mama used to watch soap operas and the motherfucker just be gone and there'd be a new person playing them? Like, that's not Ava. <laughs> like, that's not Ava. They'd be like, new Ava played by. They, like, cut in real shit. And then they cut in and tell you the new person. You just be like, so fuck the old one, huh? Basically. Psst. Somebody's scared they're getting written off here, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. Maybe you're scared to do this, but somebody knows it's coming. I feel like it's a breakup here. Somebody was only around for money and for you to pay their motherfucking bills anyway. I'm going to keep it real. That's what this is. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? Can you pay my credit card bills? Right? You ain't. That's why she's scared. Shit. I don't know if you... I don't know. You kind of seem kind of... Like for those where this is somebody that you really care about, Divine Masculine, but they're just like, you know no good for you or whatever you may be worried about separating from this person like if i leave this person i know they just gonna fall completely this shit not take care of themselves not take the baby to school or nothing g you might be right g i ain't even gonna lie to you some of y'all were staying with someone out of fear of their mental health their stability a kid's uh stability and everything g but i feel like it's i mean shit i don't know i don't have no children that's a toughie man i don't know 
You know, it's like, do I really want to leave him with her G by her by herself and shit? Like, you know, I don't know, man. The bill thing, I feel like she just gonna have to get shit cut off. Bitch, you don't need them nails. Bite the motherfuckers off and figure it. You know what I mean? Or figure out how to do a press on my own, bitch, or something. Like I ain't paying for that shit. Says you, uh, somebody. Okay, so somebody have to take their nails off and keep them off or some shit. Like somebody's not gonna be able to keep up some type of lifestyle here. Some woman is afraid of that if you leave. Okay, damn, that's it, huh? Yeah, somebody's awakening out here. Ascension card. And somebody was playing with that shit. Ooh. Yeah, somebody, uh, Divine Masculine, somebody may have got you wrapped up in some bullshit, G. I don't know what. It could be owing money and shit, signing your name on shit, forging your name, and all types of stuff. I don't know what it is. But I feel like whoever this is got you feeling like this in the next seven. Uh, I feel like this does kind of ride out as far as, uh, like this does, let me say this, it runs its course. I want to say it's over in the next seven days. This feeling of fear here or scared to do something. It looks like it is, but it does ride out, an a ride out another week, uh, is what this is. Damn. I don't even know what to say. I'm just shuffling like, ooh, wait, something about a kid here. A woman could be scared that a man's going to find, or got to tell a kid that a man really ain't their father. I don't know if this kid's been growing up all these yowls, right, thinking that a kid, that a man was their father, excuse me, and this woman finally going to tell this kid, like, I mean, because this kid Asian, G, and this man is not Asian, and neither is the mama. So shit, maybe I don't know divine masculine, okay? Maybe you've been maybe you side eyeing the kid. Like, man, I keep looking at this little, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way, bro. There's just no fucking way. And this woman been waiting on you to pick up on that shit. Like one day, he gonna be looking at her and shit and be like, I'm not Asian, G. I'm just not. Like, I've tried, I looked, I did my ancestry kit, bitch, everything. There was no Asian fucking there. You know what I mean? And somebody may have been raising a kid like like it's theirs. Um, and somebody may have to tell a kid, like, that's really not your... And it's like, you know what I mean? A kid old enough to understand, like, so I've been calling this man dad for... She don't even look up. I feel like this is a kid that answer you and still do what they do. So you mean to tell me that the man I've been calling dad, okay, for nine, ten years is not my dad? It's almost like the mama, the daughter, and the daughter, the motherfucking mama, G. Okay? What? It's a kid out here way more responsible than their fucking mother, G. What? I've seen it, though. You know? I'm sure everybody's seen that. Like, damn, that's just us. You know? Them little kids, I gotta pick up that, you know? Like, mother's responsibilities. You know what I mean? Like, they raise the other children and all this other shit. You know? Like, they just grow up way too fast. I see a kid. Some of y'all are raised like that, too. Divine masculine, divine feminine. But I see this out here, too. Maybe that's some of y'all's worst fear and shit. Like the kid growing up like me and shit, and I grew up way too fast. This kid look like they fucking, for real, paying bills and shit. She look, you know, she don't look like she really coloring. Not really. Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna find out if this is you. This here man. Is this, who is this here man? This scared man. This man could like to wear button downs, flannels, divine masculine, whoever this man is. If this is you or not, I don't know. I feel like this man likes to wear collared shirts and shit. Some these two people feel like they've been fucking, G. I don't know why. And acting, you know what I mean? You know, you see two people like they fucking. Look how they look. Like y'all, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. That's what this feels like too. Two people been fucking they ain't supposed to. And you gonna write both they ass off. Or you been fucking somebody you ain't supposed to be fucking. And somebody finds out. And they write you off and this person forever. That's it. Put one on. Is this him or uh, somebody else? Who is this? Labyrinth Journey. I mean. Everybody's on one. So I don't know if this is a spiritual journey or not. This kind of feels like one. This is a six. 
Yeah, I feel like you scared you lost somebody. I feel like Divine Masculine in the next seven days, I feel like you realized that somebody may have got you wrapped up in some shit and you were supposed to be somewhere else with someone else. Usually the sixes in the tarot deck always have multiple people in it, like a partner. So I feel like you scared you may have been, or you're supposed to be on a spiritual journey or going through something with someone else and you got stuck with this bitch is what this is. And this woman here is scared that you found out that she's not your divine counterpart or the person you're supposed to be with during this spiritual journey, but she pretended to be. There's only so far that she could go. So that's why it got written off. It's almost like you've, you've ascended. So you really are awakening. This one was pretending to be awakening. You've surpassed this one that was pretending to be more awakened than you. So now she's scared because how the fuck is she telling you that she opened you up and you going past? It's, it's like weird. I mean, it can happen and shit, but you know, it's like the employee, like, uh, saying they make more money than the boss. You know what I mean? And you're like, how the fuck is that possible? You know what I mean? How the, that's not, you must be stealing or doing something like something ain't right here. You know, something's going to be set right, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days. This shit feel like it's crazy. A maze, the maze runner. <clears throat> Somebody kept switching up on your ass, too. Or you kept switching up. If you ever saw that movie, it was never the same. Every time they went in, it switched up. So there's somebody scared. You know what I mean? <clears throat> somebody may be scared that you're going to switch up Divine Masculine on their ass. You may be scared somebody else is going to switch up. Or that somebody did or did you foul. I feel like they did. Shit, really? Personal power, not really. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to go on your spiritual journey. Uh, this says crown personal power, but it says not relationships. Yeah, you stuck with somebody else. And you're trying to figure out how to get the fuck up out of that shit. That's what this is. And you're trying to get to whatever the fuck is in the middle or outside of this shit. Whatever it is. Put one on the scared ass woman. <clears throat> Somebody has a little child genius out here for sure. Uh, some of y'all need to be aware of what your kid is drawing. Like, look in their notebooks and shit. See what's going on, you know. Is it hearts and shit or is it slender fucking man? And, and I'm not being funny, but I mean, it's some like weird shit. Some kid is out here drawing like some crazy shit, G. You know what I mean? It scared a mama and a motherfucking daddy. Like, I don't know what this shit mean. Like, what does this mean? Like, I don't fucking know, girl. Yeah, y'all may need to take the baby to go, you know what I mean? Talk to somebody or ask the kid, what is this kid? What is this shit you writing? So one of them, they little fucking friends to help them do that shit or one of somebody they hanging out with is into this, whatever the fuck you find, okay? This is outside of your home that's influencing this kid to write this shit, draw this shit, or whatever that is scaring the fuck out these parents. I don't know if it's a journal or what, G, okay? Woo! Lord have his mercy, yeah. Y'all with these children, I admire y'all, I do. For real, because you don't know who they're going to grow up to be. It's like this every day. Shit, if they're going to come home, if they're going to, you know, like, it's just... To me, seems like it's a fearful job to be a parent. I'm sure there's a lot more joyous times than fearful times, but, I mean, fuck, G. You know? Like, it's crazy out there. Shit. Not to scare y'all or anything, but that's... I mean, somebody probably feel like I do. Like, man. Put something on this uh, scared-ass woman. Why is she so scared? By the way, this is the sign of the Times Oracle uh, deck. All right. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Somebody scared you gonna leave, G. Basically. Harmony. But I feel like it's like deuces. Yeah, yeah. Told you that I'm leaving. Deuces. Yeah. I know you mad, but so what? I wish you best of luck. But now I'm finna throw them deuces up. Basically. But you scared too. You like this. I don't know. Maybe you fell in love with somebody else and you like this crazy and shit. I'm about to throw the deuces up to a broad. I just, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, Divine Masculine. I feel like you're being pulled in another direction. 
whatever it is. It may not even be towards someone else, but it's damn sure towards somewhere, something else. And it's kind of frightening you because you weren't expecting this. Whoever this is that you're knotted up with in this relationship that you about to throw the deuces up to, this person knew this was coming. This person already knew that you weren't supposed to be with them or you weren't supposed to be at this job or in this relationship or whatever, but they tried to create peace and harmony so you wouldn't leave, you know? So this is probably somebody that, I mean, you know what I mean? Sucked you to sleep type shit, you know what I mean? Whatever you like, like this type of shit. So you wouldn't dip out. But even that shit got kind of fucking weird and shit. Uh, this breaks down to a three. This person was doing a lot to keep you on their team or to keep you not to leave or some shit. This person going to be heartbroken like a motherfucker, but they going to be all right. They will. They got friends or other people they kick it with. They got a job, I think. Shit, unless they uh, they throw the deuces up to their motherfucking ass too. The friends, everybody. Somebody, everybody leaving their ass to find masculine. So you don't, I mean, maybe that's why you worried. Like this person has no one. Okay, no one likes them. No one, like, you know. It'd be different if you left somebody like, man, they got their sisters, this, this, and this, you know, like, they'll be all right. They're a good person. We just didn't work out. I don't feel like you feel this way about this person, okay? You're you're worried about this person if you leave and go do whatever. So, I don't, I mean, shit, or the children, or this could be family or some shit. But you really are looking for peace and harmony. That's what you're looking for. Crazy shit is whoever this person is you're with, they get peace and harmony too when y'all separate. This person just doesn't believe that they will. They believe that you are their peace and harmony. This person doesn't know who they are without the help of others and people. You know what I mean? Like codependency and shit. I feel like you're scared to let this person know this. Somebody has a Volks Volkswagen. Yeah. Or one of those beetles, like those bugs, beetles and shit, cars, or some shit. This person that you're with could be like hippie or... They could be hippie as in butt, but I meant like hippie though. Like, maybe they smoke too much. Maybe they say like, like I just did and shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like just totally blanked out and shit. I don't know. It's somebody that you're worried about, or you just look at them like, <laughs> I don't know, G. You, uh, somebody, like, argues around kids or fights around kids, and the kid just won't peace. You know what I mean? There's a kid out here that acts like they don't know what's going on, or like, oh, no, I didn't hear you guys fighting and arguing, but they did and shit. Like, I wonder if, you know, the little kid heard what we said and shit. Hell, yeah, they hear what y'all saying. They know what's going on, too. There's a little girl out here that knows what's going on between a man and a woman. I don't know if they catch this man and this woman cheating because of the way I just said it didn't even come out right. Or these are their her parents or some shit like that or something. Or she know they about to break up the kid. Uh, shit. Dare I say the kid the smartest motherfucker in this uh spread. I ain't even lying to you. Kids pick up on shit. You know kids are honest. They brutally honest. A kid will tell you you ugly, you fat, you stink, all that shit. You know what I mean? Like they just, they do. You know, so this is a kid like, I know, you guys are breaking up and getting a divorce. It's like this type of shit. When y'all were scared to tell the kid, you know, the kid been picked up on the shit. Like, I don't know why y'all playing with the shit, says the kid. You know, you know how you were when you were a kid. You knew when your parents and some shit was fucked up. Like, yeah, I'll go to my room. I know it. You know, you go to your room and be like, they must be mad at whoever the fuck. You know what I mean? Here we go. It's like this type of shit. You know what's up? So does this kid. So I don't know. Some of you guys, it could be crazy at work, Divine Masculine. Uh, and this will be in regards to other people. I heard on your route. So some of you guys are drivers or you do something, a driving job. It may be a lot of traffic, G, and just crazy. I don't know why, but it's just like, de I saw detours, cones and shit, tree trimming. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> this type of shit. Or blocks just being blocked off, but it's like a del where your delivery is or some shit. I see car trouble, divine masculine, unfortunately. Out here, you just like, what the fuck is going on? You starting to figure it out, too. Like, I wonder if it's because I'm attached to this bitch here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's getting karma around you, divine masculine. It may be causing shit to go a little haywire in your life. You know? Somebody's waiting on you to achieve something, whoever this woman is. Somebody's with somebody strictly for money. So somebody feels like they're successful when you're successful. They don't want to add to it. You know what I mean? They just want a part of it, whoever this is. Some of y'all are figuring it, this out. 
I don't know if you're like, damn, why didn't I see this shit? I don't know. I was stoned. Right? This type of shit. Um, I don't know, bro. Uh, or Divine Masculine. This woman could be leaving. Somebody, a woman could be leaving too. Scared to leave, but she does. So this could be this other person that's, that's throwing up the deuces. Like, I'm scared to, you know what I mean? Leave them, but I'm out. And you could be worried about this shit. Like, fuck. You know what I mean? Something's definitely over between two people, for sure. Somebody calls, like, something that, like, get worse or come to the forefront, come to the surface. Like, to be seen. Yeah, destruction, lightning. Yeah. Okay. Put something on the writing people off. Infinity. Damn. Unlimited potential. So maybe what your kid drawing ain't too bad. I told you, but still check that shit. I don't trust these motherfucking cars. Go check your kid backpack and all that shit. Uh, this give me manifesto energy, okay? That's number one. Number two, somebody thought that they were going to be with somebody forever, G, infinity. And this is writing people off. Unlimited potential. You never, it says we make plans and God laughs. He's like, oh yeah? Cross them out. <laughs> he like, nah, that's not your person, G. Yeah, it's not. Somebody also had a plan to try to, like, get someone back or I don't know if that's just like a get back, like a vindictive thing, like, you know, vendetta and shit or some shit like that. But this plan gets written off because the eight is infinity. So this is like some never ending shit. So this could be like two people arguing. It's like the argument's over, but one person won't let it go. It's over, G. Or a battle or some shit like that. Some grudge. It's like it's a rap, G. Something is done. Some crazy shit or something is over. Divine masculine, the crazy shit is in the next seven days. Say this ends, right? This relationship. I feel like you're going to find this, uh, you're going to find your way through this maze too. It's like, that's a load off your mind. Like now I can focus on how the fuck to get up out of here and shit and figure this shit out. It's like you're unloading something. Yes. In the next seven days. Evil eye protection. I told you somebody, this woman... Now all she want is peace and shit. This, I feel like this bitch caused problems. And now the bitch that caused problems scared and want peace. This somebody who opened Pandora's box in whatever type of way, Divine Masculine, okay? Somebody you're connected to. And then had crazy shit. Crazy shit been happening to you ever since. This is somebody who got into some shit they weren't prepared to get into and got you involved, G. And they could have been like, he'll never leave. He'll always support me. He'll always like, bitch, not during this type of shit, bitch. Uh-uh. This could be like, you know, people owing people money, people looking for people, or people getting into spirituality and, uh, you know what I mean, spirits and the dead and all type of shit like that, right? Somebody may not have known what somebody was into, G. Divine Masculine. You may find out, and that may make you, like, question, like, is that why everything's been so fucking crazy around here? Uh, yeah, this woman knew this shit, or whoever this is. But they're trying to create peace. Like, I can fix it. I can whatever the fuck. I don't feel. The only way they can is if you two separate. Whatever this is feels like a deal breaker in the next seven days. You could find something online. On a laptop, a phone. A kid could find some shit. Okay. A kid. I don't know. But there is a woman out here or someone, feminine energy, let's say that. There's definitely a masculine feminine energy, let's say that. There's a feminine energy out here that's scared that you've unlocked your unlimited potential. Because now that means she has to go out and try to find hers or find another victim, they said. Damn, bitch. You just go find somebody else. To t okay, well, shit. Ain't my business. Yes, this is somebody that figures out that you, you're awakening, G. So this somebody that, uh, who had this shit? I don't call out signs in this portion, but Virgo had this shit. Lowered expectations. So this somebody like, damn, this motherfucker finally figured out how to read it right. Ain't this a bitch? This like this type of energy. Like, you know, like now they're going to bring peace in their life and figure out how to, you know, do things. It's like this type of shit. And now this person's like, I can finally, since I can read it right, right, using this as an example, now I can go out into the world. You know what I mean? And all think of all the things I can do out there now that I can... Fill in the blank. It's like this energy. Somebody's scared that you are awakening. And you are, G. And you're ending shit. 
I feel like you done paying people's bills, paying for people's karma, all type. Or this somebody else. Somebody getting rid of motherfuckers. Okay, they are. Uh, you know this is the end of something. As far as like a chapter in your life. But I feel like this is you feeling hopeful, G. This is giving me hopeful energy, energy here. Like, his scare is different from hers. His is like, fuck, I can really do this shit. I can really accomplish this shit, do this shit, make this shit happen, get this money, get this woman, get this whatever. I can have this. Like, wow, okay? Like, you open, G. Uh, this woman is scared that you opened up whoever this is. Ooh-wee. So somebody in the next seven days is going to try to, like, create, like, all type of uh, Belgian waffles, dick sucking, fucking whatever you like. They keep saying that shit. So somebody could be African out here, uh, a king and shit. Okay, Prince High King. Uh, yes. Somebody, uh, somebody's gonna try. Somebody wants a position in your life, divine masculine. Okay, and they probably or they want to keep one. This person had this position, whatever this is that they're about to lose. Uh, this person about to do everything they can to try to keep it, G. Now this person's spirit, look at this shit. Now this person's spiritual and shit, crystals, evil eye, look at them and shit. Somebody went across the world to try to stop somebody, block somebody, or got some work done. They found out who you loved or what you loved or some shit, paid some money to get some something done from some witchy poo ass bitch. I don't know. Yeah, to look into something to see how they could stop something. Like your movements, where you were going or some shit. You figure this out. Now this bitch is like, no, that's not what I'm doing. Uh, no. This flamingo turd is not for <laughs> what you think it's for. you like, for real? Because, you know what I mean? Nobody holds on to flamingo turds and shit. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is this, this crazy shit? I feel like you find some shit out, G. Okay? And somebody is spooked and they trying to clean that shit the fuck up. I don't know how they do it. Whatever it is, it's like weird, G. Yeah, like you find something, some old creep. I feel like it's some spiritual shit to be honest. Put one with this woman. I want one more before we go with this piece. What is it that you find? No, put one with the this this you, huh? Yeah. What you find on this woman? Cause I feel like that's what it, it blow your mind, G. You like I can't fathom this shit, G. You know why is there a big tub of flamingo shit here? <laughs> like it's labeled flamingo shit, bitch. What is this? Like. I've been asking you for weeks what the fuck that smell is, right? And so you like, I don't know, let me, I don't know, I don't, this type of shit. Bitch, you know exactly, it's your handwriting, bitch. Like, you labeled it, ho. It's like this type of shit. I don't know why they're saying flamingo shit. I feel like somebody into some weird ass shit, G. And you find out, you like, I spent uh, however many years, right? A lifetime, or how months, whatever, with this Damn. First the fat boys break up, now this. Yeah. I think I have a reading name that. They said that's connected to that. That shit old if it is. So I'm probably talking mad shit in that motherfucker because the nun was still like super hype. Yeah. Put one on this uh labyrinth here with Devon. What is it that he finds out about this woman that's trying to sweep this shit under the rug and act like that ain't what it is? What do he find? Told you some spiritual shit, crystals. It looked like a turd. I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, something. Okay, you found something. This giving me other energy too. Sex toys or something. Uh, uh, some. And I don't know. Maybe you went into that, or maybe it ain't some you use. And you like, why are these here? And I ain't never seen. The, you know, I don't know, boy. It's something crazy. It could be some spiritual shit though too. That you found, like some spell work or some old crazy ass shit. Achievement. Whatever it is you've been looking for for a while, like, I'm gonna figure this shit the fuck out. What the fuck going on here? Yeah. She gonna try to clean it up and be like, no, no, no. See, when it dries up, you grind it up into a dust. And then it's like, this bitch gonna come up with some, like, I hope he believes that. Like, no, nah, I feel like spell work or some old crazy ass shit. Damn. Not flamingo shit. It's something hella fucking random. Nine, it's some shit you don't subscribe to. Nine of Wands, they showed me. Like, bitch, what? Nah, I don't fucks with it. Nine of Pentacles, I don't subscribe to that shit. I'm a long wolf, okay? Nine of Swords, it creep me out, okay? Nine of Cups, you into that shit? That's the freak shit you into? You love shit like that? It's like you questioning. They showing me all the tarot cards for the nines and shit. Like, nah, 
That I, I ain't with none of that shit, says you. I don't know what you catch somebody doing or you found out, G. Okay? Your uh, third eye is opening for sure. You are awakening for sure with the crystal and the labyrinth. Your third eye, you're awakening. I feel like you're uh, uh, you're ascending past whoever this is. This person may have introduced you to spirituality. Let's say that too, right? And this person didn't think you catch on or you know what I mean? You really pick up like you did or you'd awaken like you did and now you're seeing through their ass. So this is somebody who regrets introducing you to something uh, is what this is in the next seven days. Because then you start digging deeper and deeper and you find out a lot of shit about this person th that this person does not want you to know. Or this you, G. Damn. Yeah, you're going to need a, a coffee or something, G. It's, you may figure this out in the morning. Yeah, on the way to work. Some of you guys are going to get a vision. Some of you guys get messages while you're driving, Divine Masculine. Like you get visions, thoughts, intuitive messages, shit like that while you're driving or on your way to work or go make some money. That's when they're true, they said. Because that's when you buy yourself, <laughs> they said. When you're like on your way to handle business, that's when you get most of your intuitive messages. While, uh, in yeah, in route. Yeah. While you're traveling. So just know, okay? In the next seven. 